All right, welcome to day 41. Uh, I went out for a walk today in the woods, actually the Far George Preserve run by the New Haven Land Trust. And I've walked there probably, I don't know, a dozen times a year for the past, I don't know, 20 years or so. And a lot of times I think, oh, I know pretty much everything. And today I actually went uh, to look at a plant that I had been watching emerge uh, in a specific area and I didn't know what it was. And so I wanted to go see uh, if it's flowering today and to get a better ID on it. And um, so that was my quest, was to find out something I don't know. And as I walked into the Far George Preserve, I also noticed the cottonwoods and some cottonwoods were leafed out and some were not. And it said to me, oh, I also don't know how to differentiate all the different types of cottonwoods. And so I spent some time looking at the cottonwoods and looking up on my phone, the bark, and and of course a lot of the descriptions are about the leaves, which aren't out yet. And so what was interesting was that um, I think I've identified three different types of cottonwoods that I'll go back over time and look at and see as they the leaves emerge, which ones they are and get a better sense for them. So that was a lot of fun. And then I went search out the plant that I was really there to look for, which was this emerniel uh, that looked a little like Lily of the Valley and uh, was definitely growing in a large colony as an understory plant. And I was wondering, because it was so pervasive in this one area, whether it was an invasive or not. And uh, so I was trying to discern, is this a good plant or a bad plant and something that, that I should be thinking about. Um, a lot of the Far George Preserve is full of invasives, but there are some native plants there and um, saving and preserving the native plants, especially the cottonwoods, which, which are native, um, is probably a worthwhile task as well as the cedars, but there's a lot of other understory invasives. So I was looking at these um, perennials and I, uh, I could see that they had rhizomous uh, root system and so I took a sample, brought it home, spent a lot of time on the computer trying to figure it out, trying to key it out. And finally, I, I texted one of my star interns, uh, Skylar Borden, um, and said, hey, if you have time and you're not bored, uh, you know, take a look at so, this. Um, so Skylar was able to identify it to the genus, which we both had identified as false Solomon seal. Um, but that's as far as I got, but he looked at other, other, uh, species and was able to find out that it was the star, uh, uh, false Solomon seal or also called star, uh, lily of the valley. So ultimately this, uh, star lily of the valley is a native. It is a good thing. Very excited about that because uh, it's something that we can think about planting into other places in New Haven, probably even uh, digging out sections of that and propagating in other places in the Far George Preserve or other parts of uh, other natural areas in New Haven. Um, and as I was walking back, I found another plant that I didn't hadn't recognized previously. Um, and I believe it's some sort of barberry, not your common barberry. Um, or it could be a hawthorn. So I'm going to take a look at that as that emerges. Um, uh, I have my eye on that space, but I was amazed at how much I didn't know in a place I thought I knew so well. Anyways, hope you're all doing well and uh, thanks for watching. I continue with the, my thank yous for Rock to Rock. Uh, Paul and Andrea Versilio. Vers um, I saw them out today at the uh, Far George Preserve, so that was great. Um, Spicy E, a uh, favorite person of mine. Uh, John Cox, again, somebody I really admire and has done a lot of work out at the Far George Preserve. Uh, Josephine Bush, who has taught me a lot about plants. And Joel Tolman, who's a whiz with working with kids and all the great work that he's done at Common Ground. Hope you're all doing well, and I'll see you soon.